Razo versus Lupa. We're going to be seeing Peach versus Wario. Battle of the Plumbers. Of the Plumbers. Of the Mario burst characters. Neither. Okay. I've been wrong. You've been <laughs> so wrong. I thought Lupa. I know Luba has L a warrior. Luba definitely used to play Wario. I don't know if he still is, but it's going to be the Greninja. I like that character, too. Greninja's broke the That character's insane. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this matchup is literally going to be calculated aggression from Rosal versus Greninja. I mean, hey, I hit a dash attack. I mean, he's going to be looking for a little more than that, but a lot of times, yeah, you like. Oh, well, yeah. It's Greninja just has so many tools to pressure your shield, and Peach, no stranger to that either. So it's going to be who's going to be able to pressure the other fa uh, better and just more efficiently. Right, now Razo just try to poke with it, but then near into the up tilt doesn't find the up air afterwards. Just, what's beautiful about Greninja is that so many of his tools are just linked into each other. Just so fluently. Yeah. yeah, it really feels like he never just gets one hit. Now I like these water shurikens making Razo come to him. What was that shield grab? Razo wasn't close to him. Water anymore. broken. <laughs> Remember right. to hydrate, folks. Razo giving him a couple slaps across the head. I don't like that Razo isn't going off stage to try to edge Dark Ninja. Especially since there's no, you know, hitbox on his up B. But whatever Razo feels comfortable with. And there is the threat of things like the shadow sneak sneak uh, hitting Razo when he can't see the shadow on the ground moving. Um, as well as the counter is actually not that bad. If Razo tries to like poke him with a down air edge or something, maybe. Still, uh, Lubba bringing this very close. He could actually take the source stop if he plays his cards right. Get slapped again from the stage. It's actually so good for Peach. With that forward air from the ledge. Dash attack and a kill. Yeah, that'll do it. 105 on Razo. Luba, he will be able to bring this back if he gets a good hit of the dash attack or one of the uh, tipper down tilt. All right, gets that down tilt, but not going to convert into anything. Again, these max range grabs just kind of putting in work. Going deep for it, but Razo yeah, not even... Did not want to let Razo come back, but Peach's flow is an insane mechanic, honestly. Oh, jumping right into the forward air. He likes, you see Greninja's go for that a lot on their dash attacks and their nair. They go for the forward air even if, when they're not true to check if yeah. their opponent knows what to do against It'll it. It'll catch a jump sometimes. Oh, catching that. Oh, that was an amazing little Z catch right there. Love a new. All right, gets a dash attack, but going to go for the up air. Not really what you want to see at these low percents. All right, back air's just... Rapid fire, pushing Lubba off stage. That's so difficult too. Greninja not known for his fast out of shield option, so he kind of just has to hold that. I'm so curious what Raza was planning on countering there. Shadow Sneak, like you said. Yeah, but Lubba was low. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's why he threw out the counter. Probably. Oh, here we go, Raza. He misses and picks the combo up in the same stream. Now, I'm pretty sure that misses because Greninja's small. Yeah. Greninja, like, he's so fast, but, like, his dash is so good because he kind of shrinks. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a hard character to hit sometimes. Yeah, slippery. That frog, annoying. I'm surprised that, like, Space Fair was able to get shield grab. Maybe a little bit of, like, shield afterwards. Good parry, oh. that's going to be it. Ooh, Razo. Parries the forward air and gets that down tilt into forward air. So, good stuff from Razo. Luba, not too far behind. What we're really not seeing from him is that what's good about Greninja is that when he goes to these dash attacks and he hits all these aerials, he's either able to convert it into damage or go for a 50-50. He's not really been doing well at vortexing Razo a lot. So that's yeah, something. You know what? You're right. I didn't even think about that. But when, Ra when Greninja gets a hit, even if you like air dodge and you don't get hit, it feels like you made the wrong choice. So game two, going over to Battlefield. I do like this pick. A lot of platforms for Greninja to up air combo, get a lot of extended nares. All right, down to it. Here we go. No, he misses the third port cancel there. How did that actually hit? Oh, there we go. Raza goes off for the down air again, but not going to hit. These down airs are just terrorizing Greninja. Oh, I don't think Luba expected to get that nair because he could have gotten a lot of damage from that. All right, dash attack. He doesn't get the up air. Razo is able to attack on the platform. Just 
Oh, uh, that's unfortunate for Lover. The dash attack was really well placed from Razo because it kind of just cut off Lover from going to the ledge from high. So you had to kind of try and drift back, go under it. Didn't work out. Yeah. I feel like it would have been worth it to take the dash attack because it would have sent up anyways. But it may again, have killed, may not have. Who knows? Yeah. Either way, Raza with a commanding lead right now. Yeah, this is trying to look bad for Lava. I know Lava not even getting a chance now. He just sat there and shield. I would have too, honestly. See, there we go. We see Raza go for an air dodge read, but uh, Lava not really able to convert into a vortex at all. It seems like when Luba gets these hits, he's not reacting fast enough. And Raza is able to air dodge out of these. I. Mm. Oh, oh get my off god. He, he, that looked win. like it was going to be the end of Raza, but instead he gets a punish on Lava. That should be it. Yeah, Big that's, up, that's definitely it. Can't be doing that. Finally going to take that first stock, but 131 is nothing to scoff at. It's going to be hard for Ganon to get one of these openings in with the way that Raza plays and the nature of Peach. She can just harass his shield, and Ganon doesn't have many get off the options. So cancel Nair, almost killing the battlefields. Big boy. All right, back though. Almost killing Lava, but he does catch the turnip once again. He drops it from ledge also. I like that get up from ledge. Not something Rather really was expecting. Falling out of the dash tag. Yeah, and this could be big for Lubba. He gets the hit, but he doesn't put Razo in the vortex once again. Up throw up air. Not going to convert. 60%. Dash tag finally going to kill. I was going to say, we could see a down tilt up smash kill at uh, that 60%, especially with that rage and that shadow sneak. Going to kill. It's, even. it's even. There we go. Lubba has not really done that the it's game before, even, yeah. but... Do what you gotta do. You know, we talked about Shadow Sneak all set so far, but that was, I, I think that was the first time. Seen, yeah. Wait, hold on. Loba's kind of putting all this this work. All right, you need to continue this aggression. Do not let Raza get another hit. Go to the up smash. All right, Loba's time finally starting to wake up. He uh, looks like he knows what he's doing. Raza finally getting some aggression in though. Yeah, Raza is able even up Yo. the damage. Oh my god, he air dodged and I thought he was about to get hit. Yeah, and again, Float just doing so much for Razo, keeping himself alive. All right, goes slash Shadow Sneak. Go, finally goes off for the down air. This is scary. Razo, in these last lock situations, he's actually very, he's very composed. He's very, yeah, solid. That's the word. It's that first hit there, or back air, but I don't think that actually true combos into a smash tag. I think he's dead. Yeah. yeah Loba, he finally fell past ledge. Yeah, Loba actually taking that second game. He was looking really rough, but uh, that he, he turned it up to 11 in the end, though. That's what I want to see from him. So we're going to be going over to game three. I definitely thought this was over. I thought we were going to have seen the quick 2-0, but Loba making me, uh, making me eat my candy. I'm going to have to brush my teeth so much tonight. <laughs> Bro, I was like planning on eating after this, but they had so much candy here. I'm like, damn, am I hungry anymore? Like, the answer is definitely yes. I was going to say, that if you say you're not going to eat because you had candy, we're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> so you 12-year-old. I'm on a diet. I can have three pieces of candy, and I'm good for the night. That's just so untrue on so many levels. I'm just really glad I didn't hear any of that. I know you heard all of that. <laughs> don't even... You, you, don't so mind my Game three, stuff. going over to the pink Greninja. Very... I like the color. And also going back to PS2. So let's see what we're going to be seeing. I want to see Luba play how he did that last stock the rest of this game. Also, what we haven't really been seeing a lot from Luba is uh, these like short uh, water shuriken. Just kind of to annoy Peach. And especially for Peach who likes to do a lot of float cancels. And she wants her technical ability yeah. to be on peak. When you throw out these uh, shuriken, it kind of just messes up disruption. your flow. Yeah. And I think that'll be really important. Yeah, that's a very good point you make. Right. Slapping him. He tries to land aggressively with an air. Oh, goes for the charge. I 
Don't really agree with that. That oh, was so catches him dropping shield. That was so scary, but Luba finally dropping shield. Rob's getting that peak bomber. Good parry, but even Razo crossing him up. Oh, this should be damage. Oh, right. Razo just putting so much hurt on him. Actually putting the reading rainbow on him. He tried to land so many <laughs> times. With the down and with the nair, it just didn't work. I'm curious if Greninja stands on stage and Peach up Peach, if he counters, if he can just go down and hit him. Just because Peach's uh, parasol does hit, like, you know, above the ledge. Maybe, actually. I haven't thought Jumps about right that. into that up smash. Razo up three socks to one. This is looking all but done for Razo. I will say, I feel like Razo is one of the harder SoCal PR players to upset. Just because of how how he recomposes himself, you know, you take a game like you, like Lubba did, and Razo will just reset. Plus, finally gets that shadow sneak, taking that first stock, but it's too little, too late. He's already at forty percent. But let's see if we can see some Greninja action going. in. finally gets it up air. Oh, goes for the drag down. Goes for a little reset, but not sure if you really want resets right now. I think you just want the damage. All right, looks for the down air two frame, but he doesn't fight. Lubba is back on stage. He gets dash check, but. He just gonna have to reset. Razo is able to get the turn hit. It's really frustrating to fight Peach. I feel like Peach, you want to stop them from getting the turnip, so you run at them. But then, like, you get hit, he pulls a turnip, and then he has turnip, and he gets to do so much with it. I go to the forward air. It's gonna be scary. Great float from Razo. Covered so much base. Oh be yeah. It. Pilates I love the stay. zoom in on Angry Toad. Stay away from me. I don't know who you talk to, but it can't be her. <laughs> I'll see you later. Anyway. Dude, Toad came in. I'm her top donator on stream. Go away.